The Johannesburg Property Company reaffirmed its commitment to gender parity at an all-women's event. The company says 50% of all business procured by the city of Johannesburg's property management entity will go to women and women-owned companies by 2030. Well, the month of August is Women's Month, so the Johannesburg Property Company decided to host this event to raise gender issues in the property sector under the theme Property as an Enabler of Gender Transformation. And if there's any company in the city of Johannesburg that is in a position to raise this issue, it is, of course, the Johannesburg Property Company, given that for the last 16 years, they have been led by only female CEOs. This is how they're doing it. Well, where we are today versus where we need to go is surely lacking. Women have been in the property sector for the last 30 years, but only 15% are represented in the property and construction area, which means that there is huge room for development. There's only one female-headed property company that's on a JSC company, which shows that the numbers are so minimal that the opportunities in terms of the gap for women to actually prosper in this environment is huge. We're calling on women to take the power, to take the initiative, to be brave and to develop their skills in the property sector and the industry and to create opportunities for them to actually move forward, transform the industry and be empowered. The JPC's target exceeds the national target by about 30 percentage points, which is most encouraging and progressive when it comes to empowering women in business. Well, the JPC has uh, come up with a skills development learnership program with partners with uh, WITS and SOCOA. Uh, we've empowered 36 of our, um, of our staff members. We've got programs such as a physical verification exercise where third-year uh, third property students are then also empowered uh, to work with JPC as interns and to further their studies. We've got a women initiatives such as supply chain tenders that are 50% directed towards uh, women in the property sector, in facilities management, in outdoor advertising. So what we're doing is we're making the opportunities available for land. We've shown the demand analysis for from now till 2040 uh, the amount of opportunities that are available and they are tremendous and we are imploring women to come on board um, to approach us and so that we can work together to actually address this issue. Transformation is something that JPC lives and breathes. Nikki Brink, director of KHB Consulting, shared a bit of her trials and tribulations as a woman in business in property, working in what is believed to be a predominated male industry. There's a numerous times I've sat in professional meetings um, in development and you've had derogatory remarks passed to you because you're a woman. Um, and at that time, particularly as well, I was a pregnant woman. And comments passed about the fact that you should be at home and, you know, looking after your children and not be in the boardroom. Um, but, you know, you've just got to be strong. As a woman, you've got to stand up, be strong, know what you want out of life, um, and also do everything with integrity and make sure you carry your values and your beliefs through in everything that you do. Nikki has had the opportunity to work closely with the JPC on government contracts and shared her experience with us. As I said, it has challenges because there's always that, there's always the difference in priorities between private sector and public sector. But it's trying to manage those balance, the, the, the different priorities mm -hmm. and trying to get a fair and even balance between the two. Um, but JPC has been a good company to work for. They really, really have been. They are strongly they strongly believe in empowering women um, and we're a success because of that empowerment at this stage. Mm -hmm. um, and we hope obviously to diversify and grow the company even more now. It is expected that demand for land will rise due to the growth of Johannesburg. This also means that demand for property related services will increase accordingly. Essentially, opportunities are boundless for women to play a vital role in developing this sector in Johannesburg. Nashina Mohammed for Joburg Today.